So today we're at the Venkatesh project with Pat Dugan and we're talking about waterproofing and specifically a self-adhered underlayment. So let's take it away. Waterproofing is by far the most important component on the exterior of a house. And in fact, most exterior claddings, including shingles and stucco and uh, tile, are gonna be there just to protect the waterproofing of the house. Because the waterproofing, as its name describes, keeps the water out of the house. And in California especially, water is the greatest challenge your house will ever face. And if we can keep the water out, our houses can last hundreds of years. So Pat, let's talk a little bit about this specific product because it's a fairly unique product and it's not the standard kind of plastic wrap that you see on houses, especially houses that are kind of cut, uh, production built houses. What is different about this material than those materials? So what this material does, first off, <coughs> it's our waterproofing, it takes care of our waterproofing aspect as well as um, our air barrier. So it creates the air barrier and this is, um, peel and stick. So the nice thing about that is if you get a puncture in this product, since it's a peel and stick and it's adhered to the exterior sheathing, you're not gonna get an air leak over here from a puncture here like you would say in a, a staple on product that's loose, where the water, the air is gonna be drafting through here and any other area where there's an air leak, it could travel throughout. So it eliminates that aspect. Um, it's just a really fantastic product, air barrier and waterproofing in one. So I know from experience of putting this on that it's not easy to put on because it's super, super sticky and it likes to stick to itself. So, I mean, this wall is absolutely perfect. So, you know, it takes a lot of expertise to put this on just right. Absolutely. Um, we, have, we have these little flattened tools and we have rollers that we go through. We peel off the paper on the back side and you just have to make sure that you apply it flat try not to get any wrinkles in it um, and then in cases like this where we have a light fixture what we'll then do is we will put caulking or adhesive around the perimeter on the inside we'll also caulk at the hole where our Romex wire goes through and then beyond that at this on this structure we're going to have closed cell foam on, the, on the, all the exterior walls, which is just another layer of keeping that airtight. And so this project is not a passive house. So this is not uh, super important to the clients that this house be airtight. So we're not gonna be tested on this, but we're still using this material. Why? Well, what it does is it's gonna create a better house for the client, right? So the more airtight, the more efficient it's gonna be. All of, all of these details just add up to creating a better product. Right, so you know, it, right now in New York, we're seeing that the air is, is super toxic from the fires in Canada. And so when we build a tighter house, we have less chances of those, uh, those uh, smoke particles getting into the house, which means that the house stays cleaner, more comfortable, and certainly safer, just because of using this product. Absolutely. And so really it's about not only the quality of the project, it's about the quality of the experience and the health of our clients in these projects. And it really, it, this material is more expensive than like the non peel and stick kind of standard materials that we're seeing on houses, but it's not really that much more expensive. And it dramatically increases not only the efficiency of the house, but how, health, how well the house performs. Absolutely. So if you're interested in learning more about indoor air quality or about or waterproofing, please hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way.